So today is, well it's the afternoon now, but it's Wednesday the 19th of May. Willow, are you going to come say hey? Oh, yeah? You were a little star last night, weren't you? Because mummy was really poorly with an adrenal crisis. Um, and had to give emergency, I had a cortisone injection. Sorry, she's just... How cute. Oh my gosh, a side salad. Also when I said side salad, something that I, me and my best friend always say, when we side salad something um, to get distracted and start talking about something else and then go back to the subject we were actually talking about. So side salad, Willow looking very cute here. Like dogs just are incredible, aren't they? I mean, I know I say it all the time, but you know, on your bad days and your good days, they're there inside, outdoors on walks, but just simple cuddles and Willow loves cuddles. They're getting all her assistance dog work, just a dog in itself brings so much to your life. Um, and people have dogs totally understand that. Um, yes, the problem with side salad is then I forget what I was actually saying. Um, to my, last night, yeah. So I had to give him much injection of hydrocortisone, 100 milligrams IV. Um, sorry, I am. Um, it can be IV as well. Um, and sorry, just undo my pig. So that can drain. Um, yeah, and. It, Normal, pe normal people's cortisol will um, change with things like stress, from physical stress to emotional stress to like increased vomiting or infection, it will increase changes. So There's like a maintenance dose, like a regular dose. But someone who's got Addison's or adrenal insufficiency for whatever reason doesn't do that. So you need to do it manually with the steroids. So you're on a maintenance dose all the time and then you increase for like infection, sickness, surgery, stress, physical, emotional. Um, if you don't, then um, you can go into adrenal crisis, which can be fatal. So, um, yeah, um, and normally I can inject myself, but obviously if, if I go unconscious, um, then obviously someone has to do it for me, but all my PAs and carers and, and my family know what to do, so, yeah, but it's hard, um, it's something you've got to keep track of 24-7. So yeah, that was an interesting night, and I was quite sick as well, um, tasting the Chinese, I'm also very careful, you know, CNS, chew and spit, you know, don't swallow anything, but sometimes like I have to make sure that I um, drain all the bile away because everyone produces bile constantly um, but I produce a lot more um, so um, before I had my peg draining peg I used to just vomit bile continually and now the peg just that normal bile that we produced um, can get drained out but if I have taken any little foods of similar to produce that's more a bit, 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 bit more bile so that makes me make sure it's drained out as well um, and I fell asleep at one point and it wasn't draining and so then yeah you can imagine <laughs> um but like i've got sick bowls and i'm prepared for a prepared family in this in this family um so yeah i'm quite tired and sleep wise what is what's sleep sorry is there sleep somewhere sleep what sleep um well this one knows what sleep is everyone else doesn't so i've only got a few hours i don't know how i function sometimes on such little sleep i think i'm so used to it you only get so used to it you think I don't know, my body's just, yeah, who doesn't sleep much, body just keeps going, yeah, so we're just having a chill day today, there was lots of plans to do stuff and go out, but then, it's chronic illness, it's unpredictable, and it's something that's very hard to adapt to and remember, and I struggled with a lot, and I still struggle with, I remember saying to my therapist that I put my expectations up here, she's like, we really need to lower them down, I'm like, yeah, but I don't want to have to lower them, why should I have to learn that's not fair? My other peers don't have to lower them and I have to. And yeah, I have to, that's life. You know, this illness, it's a life I've been dealt with and I'm dealing with. It's sometimes, and it's totally okay to be like, it's not fair, it's shit, it's rubbish. I want to have all the energy. I don't want to have to go from planning and then overnight all your plans change because your health goes out the window and has a little dip, you know. But we've got to take one day at a time and find the joys where we can. And that's why I make those every day. Because when I have a good day, or I have a good hour, I'll go out and I'll use it. I'll use those moments because those moments are really super precious. Also, as I'm talking, I can see in the, my video camera, my nails. Can you see the nails? Um, that'll focus or not. Mm. Yeah, Emily did my nails last night. My lovely PA, that's Emily. Um, one of them. And they are looking fabulous. And I don't... When your nails done, I feel like it makes you feel good. I know I kind of like the feeling of having nails done, but I'm awful at doing it myself. So someone else always has to do it. 
uh, yeah, but today's a chill day, and that's totally okay. Got a parcel to open though, so that is exciting. So we are going to do that soon. But that's my exciting bit for the day. Do you know when you get cramp in your leg, you put it in the position, you're like, ah, whoo, just let that pass, and then I'm going to, oh, ah, 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 ah. So I'm just finishing watching an episode of 911 Disney Plus, which I got for my 25th birthday, because who doesn't want Disney Plus for the birthday? Brilliant present. Just finishing. 911. I know, I know. I know what you're thinking. I live with oh, cramp. Um, so it's my leg here. Um, well, that's passing. Um, I uh, live with medical conditions and I watch medical shows, but a lot of people with chronic illnesses are similar to me, I know that. And I don't, I like the fiction and story, it's also about their lives as well and relationships. Like many shows, I mean, I've bashed out Grey's Anatomy, but I need to watch more up to date episodes, um, not watch them, that's exciting. Because don't you feel so sad when you're watching a show and then it finishes and you're like, oh my gosh, I invested all this time in the characters and now, like, they're gone. Is it just me? Feels like they're a little bit part of your lives? Anyway, I like watching medical programs as well because I wanted nursing before I got poorly. I really did. I worked to, um, as a support worker and I worked with epilepsy and brain injuries and I also worked at Great Ormond Street Hospital because I wanted to be a children's a paediatric nurse. I had all these plans and I was a healthcare assistant and then my, illness, my own illness got worse and I couldn't pursue what I wanted to do. So that's also why I kind of like the medical programs as well. But yeah, it's an, it's an escape. Programs, TV, Netflix, Disney, Prime, everything is an escape. Um, so it's so sunny, look. See the sun coming in. So beautiful. But now we are going to open this package from the lovely Emma Louise Smith. I'm going to open this. Right, so thank you so much um, to Emma Louise Smith. So we're going to open this. Right, where do I start? Also, there is a Disney sign can see on the side which makes me think mmm Disney possibly right let me just move um, the blanket a second so you have more room and let's open this a bit a long sec I do have blankets everywhere because well it's my flat anyone knows me as I love a blanket oh it's a bit chilly though um yeah so let's go No. Where do I start? Let's go down. Let's, let's maybe do this. I don't want to rip anything that's inside, you know? Ooh. Oh, this looks exciting, Willow. I know! I know! So don't we love mum's nails? Like I know I showed you before, but I keep seeing the reflection and they are so neon bright. I didn't realise how bright until I saw them today. Right, Willow. <gasps> oh wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, it comes out. This. This is exciting. This. Oh, Willow. It's Simba. Oh my gosh. It's a little tough as well. Oh, it says Ruth on the back. You see, Willow. From Emma. Oh. And I love the box. Look at the box. How cool is that? That's a Disney box. That's a side. Oh my gosh. Do you say, come, on, come say hello, Willow. I know. What do you think? It's nice, isn't it? Meet Simba, Willow. I know. Simba, Simba. Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful thing. Hakuna Matata. Ain't no passing thing. It means no worries for the rest of you. Mm -hmm. Sorry, get carried away. Look, and it says Ruth on the back. Oh, and it feels so soft. Oh, I love it. I have the sweetest friends 
thank you so so much you are so kind emma honestly thank you you have such a big heart and we give you such a big hug thank you so much Mwah. you know when you're transferring and there's just so many wires and you're just like all the bits trying to get the rust like on the back and just yeah it's fine it's all good it's all good in the hood but sometimes it's just like Argh. that's totally okay to say i've been learning over the years and so much more about it. it's okay to have the feelings you know don't push them away for so long i've pushed them away like no 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 you can't feel anger or upset or frustration or anything and actually it's totally okay to feel those things if you're feeling pissed off i like to feel pissed off i'm pissed off at these tubes that are catching on everything and have it oh god see there again something's catching and then this one is draining and can't pull down so I need to get a tubey clip for that one um and yeah sometimes it's just like Ugh! and it's okay because it's frustrating it is but it's gonna be okay <sighs> let it out let it out let it go let's go and get a tubey clip from my collection and my rooms right um, there is my tube, one of my tubey covers. I love this cover. I really love this cover, but where is my clip? Mm. Here it is. Let's just clip this one on. So, tubey clips are brilliant. They are so handy. Right, so let's clip it on to my clothes. And then, clip it on. I have double clips as well because for me, um, where my tube is, it just works better. And so as you can see, it works really well. So now it's here, but it won't it won't pull down on the actual stoma site, which is up here. So yeah, fab. I'm just gonna redo this hair because you know when you get all the flyaway hairs, my hair is totally doing that at the minute, and it's I know it's a really tiny thing, but it's like really infuriating. You know when little things really infuriate you. So I'm just gonna trying to do this hair up again make it a little bit neater right so there we go right that's better I think Look at that a bit less fly away I think well still quite fly away but you know we'll go with it make the best of what we have and now it's drama uh, I help out with this um, kids who, um, with some abilities, some disabilities all abilities, sorry, I mean sorry, all abilities but some of the kids have disabilities um, some don't but we're all there together and they all have drama and we just have fun with kids but obviously they're online at the minute so yeah, that's what I'm doing for the next hour also I've just added a little bit of makeup to my face so I don't look as kind of pale and as kind of let me see that kind of more clearly that side um, just to kind of make myself look a little bit more reasonable when I'm on zoom um, I need to put some uh, lip gloss on although my lips just fade from some of the concealer but yeah I do like wearing makeup because it makes me feel better and I feel when I feel I look good I feel better even when I feel crap inside but yeah I don't know still love my nails they're like the highlight of my day my nails keep seeing them like oh my gosh they're so neon so it's the end of the day now, like midnight, late, but I had great shun, um, great shun, I'm so tired. I had good fun doing, um, so it's really bright from the light, I had good fun doing, um, helping out with, with the theatre group that I help out with, that was really good, the kids did amazing work as always. And then I said chill that evening with Emily, and yeah, just brilliant, she does all my medical stuff, all the medical bits, on top of just being an amazing best friend and PA all at the same time honestly that girl just gold dust and I'm so glad she's in my life because she makes yeah everything better and easier you know but I'm also in safe hands medically with her which is normally you might have someone who's really good medically but then not as good kind of with going out and everything else kind of being that friend to hang out with and do things with with someone you can do things with and hang out with but then not as good with the medical side but she does both and I'm just so lucky in that anyway I'm really tired so I need to go to sleep but yeah got through another day you know every day may not be good for something good every day sorry every day may not be good for something good in every day it's so so true and again neon nails <laughs>